Hey guys, Anthony here. Um, today's video, it's um, Sunday, January 26th, 2014, and we're going to um, we're going to do a video tonight showing you again uh, how to deploy the um, roll-up antenna that I keep in my communications bag, which I did a video on a while ago, which I'll post in the link below so you can see this video on what's in this bag. Now, I have updated this uh, since that video, added some more stuff to it, some more gear. As I get electronic gear and things like that, I'll keep it, the uh, attachments and things like that in here, extra batteries, solar. And so, today's video is gonna focus on what I keep in this bag right here. This is a 511, 511 tactical bag. I think it's a six by six pouch. And in here I keep my roll-up antenna, which I'll show you. <clears throat> keep a repeater directory, which I need to update. And then I keep some notes on some key um, ham radio uh, codes and stuff like that and directions that I've wrote down, some notes that I've taken uh, in this bag. <clears throat> I keep some, I think it's about 30 feet of bright orange paracord that I'll use to deploy the antenna. And I keep the J-pole antenna right here, rolled up inside that bag. I have a video on this antenna as well. Um, that, that I'll put in the description box also. So we're going to deploy this tonight uh, and then try to uh, get on the traffic net when they start at 6 o'clock tonight. It's 5 o'clock now, but I'm going to set everything up so I'm ready. And we're going to use our uh, ham radio, which will be uh, attached to this antenna right here. So I'll just remove this external antenna and attach it to here once we deploy it in the tree, which I'm going to show you how to do that. So stay with me and we will um, be right back and do that. And so this bag comes in pretty handy uh, to store this gear and it keeps me mobile. Uh, I can take this bag with me if I'm on the run or if I'm on foot in a back, on a backpack, whatever, and um, have ability to get better reception with my uh, handheld uh, ham radio. Okay, so we'll be right back and we'll deploy this antenna. Guys, the first thing you're going to do in the field is look for a rock, a small rock to throw around, uh, tie around the uh, paracord with to toss up over the tree branch so you can get your paracord deployed in order to hook it to your antenna and hoist it up. So uh, right here in my yard, this rock looks like, this rock looks like it'll do right here. So I'll tie this on to the uh, paracord and then we'll show you how I deploy. All right, guys, so we got our antenna. Let's take our paracord, which you can see here. We'll just uh, take this end here. Here's our rock that we're gonna be using. We'll just go around our rock a few times with it. just tie it off like so okay now we're ready to throw this over the over the tree branch and then we'll deploy our antenna try that so next step tie off our antenna so undo the velcro tab here 
that comes attached to the antenna. Okay, this is the antenna itself, right here. I have a video on this. Here, you can get that. Dual band Slim Jim attached to the cable that'll go to the radio. So. Now, next step, get your radio and you attach it to the cable. So my radio is in my bag here. Get the radio. Remove the external antenna from the radio. <coughs> like this. And attach it. To our external J pole antenna cable, and we'll power up our radio now. The traffic net doesn't start till six, but let's see what we can come up with. If there's anything going on? We're going to come back at 6 and we'll turn this on when the traffic net starts and see how our reception Mike 2, Victor. Name is Mike, NTS Digital Ref. I'm holding one piece of traffic for Port St. Lucie, area code 630, and uh, I'll be available for anything outgoing. Good evening, Kenny. KMTV. All right, uh, recognizing Mike, you're Mike 2 Victor for, uh, for uh, uh, I'm sorry, NTS and uh, medium speed rep. And also, I understand you have one piece of traffic coming in to Port St. Lucie. Uh, please stand by for a moment. Let's call again, see if there are any other net representatives. Hearing none, before we go with Mike's um, uh, traffic, are there any other stations with formal written traffic? Formal written traffic, please come down. All right, guys. S-I-X. We're listening to the South Florida, Southeast Florida traffic net, S-C-F-T-N. Um, this goes on 365 days a year, uh, seven days a week. Um, at 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. What I'm doing tonight is getting extra good reception with my handheld by putting the antenna up the tree, the J-pole antenna like we showed before, and now we're listening to the traffic net. Great operators. Right now they're they're taking a piece of traffic for and somebody. Will be. But you'll get other information welcome. on here of what's going on in the area, uh, any events, uh, people checking in from all over the area. And uh, it's just a very good habit to get into listening and staying in touch with the uh, traffic net. And Jim. So that's November the reason 9, Victor Charlie why I did this video and redid it uh, tonight to show you guys the importance of a simple basic antenna rolled up, mobile, and can put in your go bag in your car and be ready uh, to get better reception in the field. 
Okay, like I'm doing tonight. Thanks for joining me, guys. Take care. Right, Questions and comments. Uh, let me confirm Anthony that. signing off. Stay ready.